can't really tell when exactly it showed up to me. Or I would doubt, did it come to me or just simply appear to me? Just like waking up a beast in sleep. It was in me, I knew it. Being a bit over mature and sensitive to any other children you've seen in my age. You could barely find a piece of innocence belonging to a child in my eyes. I wasn't happy at all from what you've seen. That blue kid, if you call me like that, you're scared. Yeah, I scared you. By being so different from you or other children if you like. It might be a little weird to you, but I shouldn't have been terrifying to you. I didn't choose to be like that. Just like you didn't expect a child like me. I was just bored with it. And that's it. As simple as having people's biological sex is decided. However, you couldn't accept a me like me. You know how sensitive I was. And yes, I detected the smile of your desire. Then I started to make a change. Just like how enzymes change the shape of their active sites, so they would be able to fit in with the substrate to make things work. Yet it worked. At the beginning, you were delighted. people always become greedy after the first taste of sweet on the tip of the tongue. You wanted more. You want a new me, a copy of you. So you got a bunch of catalysts, adding, adding and adding. Temperature rises, continuously stimulating the chemical reactions. The molecules collided, collapsed, wildly, rapidly. But you know what? When it access the optimum conditions, the enzyme denatures a brook. The conflicts between the ideal me and the real me teared me up into pieces. I could no longer recognize myself. Was I still me? Or shadow of you? Then it came as expected. Just in time. So naturally. Just like coming for appointment, numbness, anxiety, and fidget. They were the frequenters, competing, bouncing back and forth, depriving my sleep. All I could only feel were the scratches on the tip of my heart. And what I could hear were voices putting me down to hell.
You know the termites, the white ants which eat wood. Yeah, you was eating me from deep inside, furtively, stinkily. You couldn't even tell the differences from how I looked like, but only when you discovered the first tiny hole at the corner, and when you dig into it. You finally saw such a hollow structure under a perfect outer shell. You were shocked again, but also mad because I ruined your artwork that you've been carving for years, and you were so proud of it. You started querying me why I didn't tell you early. Disappointedly, day by day, well, I did actually for quite a few times. However, your response was not what I was expecting. You're just thinking too much. To be honest, I'm not planning you. I'm not planning anyone. I was not. I am not. And I will not. I'm not a hater. I don't even dislike you. I rely on you. I ingratiate myself with you. I love you. It's just an analogy, and that's it. My turn. I would accept it. With the company of the street lamp, the moonlight gently raised the curtain in the Potsbury's wee hours, hiding from the ones who had fallen into the dreamland long ago. Secretly, spying into the joy and the sadness of this city, stealthily staging the comedy and the tragedy of humanity. Liberating myself, stretching, woefully, scrapping up the vigor for another perfect disguise for the next day. Oh hey, you see that? The curtain falls. I was the only audience of this exclusive performance again. Interesting. <laughs>